morning, everyone. This is an exciting morning in Prince George's County. I'm so excited uh, to be here this morning and so grateful to have been invited. I want to just uh, first of all say thank you so much to Talia. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for being here and also for sharing your own inspiring story. Uh, we appreciate that. I also want to acknowledge Ms. Lindsay Wood Jeffries uh, from the Higher Achievement Team. Thank you so much, Lindsay. And of course, I want to thank uh, Dr. Golson uh, and all of the other members of the school board. I want to thank also council members and the mayors for being here. And thank each of you uh, for being here this morning. This is the single most important thing happening in Prince George's County today. Uh, you hear me say that often when I talk about the future of our children, and that is not an exaggeration. Uh, I also want to thank Dr. Thornton. Uh, I get excited every time I see Dr. Thornton, who's chair of our school board. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Thornton. Uh, you know, Talia said something a moment ago that just made my heart dance, and she said that this program is expanding at the same time that the county is on the rise. Uh, no truer statement has been spoken, but what I must say about that is this is, uh, this happens only through the collective efforts of all of us. This is not something that happens because of the uh, actions of one person, but truly you are seeing the rise in Prince George's County because of our partnerships, uh, because of our collective commitment, uh, not to ourselves, but our collective commitment, not only to our community, but there is, I believe, um, the agreement among all of us that the education of our children is the single most important thing that happens on any given day. Uh, we recognize it as the great civil rights issue of this day, and we have decided as a community that it is our commitment uh, to make sure that every child in our community has the opportunity. I love the way that Talia uh, stated as well that, every, that we have talent here, and it is our obligation to make sure that the opportunity meets the talent. And so I am really excited that the Higher Achievement Program is coming to Prince George's County, that 60 Prince Georgians will have an opportunity to take advantage of the Higher Achievement Program this year. Uh, what we know for sure is that we have some exceptional students, we have exceptional leadership. Uh, speaking of leadership, I also want to thank Dr. Daria Valentine for, uh, for her leadership as well. And what I can tell you about her leadership, she is in so many ways reflective of what's right about Prince George's County. What I said to Dr. Valentine a moment ago is, oh, I know you, uh, because I see her all over Facebook. And what I see about <laughs> Facebook is not only that she is uh, very committed to her own family, her children, her husband, but what I love about seeing her is she's committed to other people's children as well. Not only here at Greenbelt Middle School, but you will see her activism and her advocacy all over the country, helping young women and young children uh, to make it to college and to achieve their dreams. And we want to thank you for your leadership, both here in Prince George and abroad. It's so important. As I think about the opportunity that the Higher Achievement Program offers, and we are just really celebrating that this is the beginning uh, of our relationship with the Higher Achievement Program. We're starting here, but we are already on fire to make sure that more children have this opportunity. I think very personally to friends uh, who have benefited from the Higher Achievement Program. As I drove up today, uh, I thought about one who just happens to be present in the room today, uh, Erica Wilson Russell. I have to say that slowly because when we grew up together, she was uh, Erica Berry. Uh, but I want to thank Erica who is here. She's working with us in the county executive's office. We became friends at 14 years old, uh, and we've been friends over the years, and we share a story together. And that story is a story that really resonates across our friendships where we were all first generation uh, college students. Um, most of us were the students of uh, the children of parents who had not had an opportunity to go to college, but had parents who wanted for us what every parent wants for their children. Whether they know how to get their kids there or not, every parent wants their children to succeed. Um, and so Erica is an example of that. We have also a friend, Marsha. Erica said to me this morning that the Higher Achievement Program changed the trajectory of her life. When she was there, uh, her mother primarily was the person who was responsible for her education. Uh, and then she was paired with the Higher Achievement Program. That program took her to heights, really, that could not have been anticipated. She is a, a, an exceptionally intelligent young person, but said that it put around her not only adults who could help her achieve, but put her in a circle of students who were like-minded, who, uh, who were interested in, exceeding, in, in succeeding. And she said that, you know, there was some bullying that happened. Uh, if you were regard, regarded as smart, but the HAP program gave her the freedom to be who she was. And so that program led her uh, to Banneker High School where we met, took us both to Duke University, 
Uh, Erica graduated from uh, Duke with a chemistry degree and went on to, uh, to not only get a master's of public health but a, a, a law degree from George Washington University and then uh, worked for about 15 years advising the White House on the Affordable Care Act uh, and said, you know, I, I, she came back one day and said, you know, God has shown me that I should spend the rest of my life committed to education of our children. And so she took that uh, information and went into D.C. and started working uh, to help prepare kids. When I called her and said, well, why in the world are you in the district? Don't, you live in Prince George's. I can't understand why we take all of that talent and, uh, and take it to the di district where we have kids who could benefit from your knowledge right here. And so she is back home, and she's on fire for our kids. But she's just one example. I can think of my friend Marsha. Uh, and I, I, I tell this story, I don't think Marsha even tells her own story. When we were going to Banneker, I would pick her up in the mornings, meet her at her home, where she shared a one-bedroom apartment with her mother, and they slept in the bed together because of the accommodations. Uh, I'd pick her up, we went to high school together. Uh, Marsha left Banneker, went to Spelman, went on uh, through full scholarship all the way to George Washington, where she got her medical degree and is a primary care physician right here in Prince George's County, brought her talents back home and is on fire for young people. That's what the Higher Achievement Program makes possible for our kids uh, and how excited we are to have it here. And we have uh, two young people here on this stage today. I often say, and again, this is not exaggeration, when I say that our kids, for me, are the star of the story that I'd love to tell. Um, I just can't speak enough about the kind of kids we have here. And so we have Aaliyah, who is on the stage with us today. We have Anthony, who is also uh, two of our young people who will be uh, participating in the HAP program. Aaliyah is already a star uh, to the teachers here at Green Belt Middle. She is a gifted artist who uses her drawings and paintings to express her feelings. Uh, I also learned that Aaliyah has a very rich cultural background with family roots from Brazil and Bolivia and Senegal and that it really helps to inform not only her artwork but her understanding of the world around her. You all are just beginning to see Aaliyah's impact. Uh, we also have with us today Anthony. Uh, Aaliyah, raise your hand, Aaliyah. Uh, we also have Anthony, who is another one of the stars whose story I will continue to tell, who is goal-oriented and is a part of the Talented and Gifted program here at Greenbelt Middle School. Uh, you can feel Anthony's presence when you walk over and shake his hand. You know that Anthony means business. Uh, and I've heard that Anthony actively plays, uh, pays attention to and discusses current events around America, that he uses his voice and he's an advocate on topics such as race and violence. You all are just beginning to feel Anthony's impact as well. Uh, he has something he would like to say and he's being developed here at Greenbelt Middle. But it's so imperative uh, that we recognize that there are Aaliyah and Anthony's all over Prince George's County, uh, which is why the, we have decided, and uh, we're very proud to announce this morning, that uh, Prince George's County has contributed $50,000 through our Community Partnership Grants Program to the Higher Achievement Program uh, to help fund the Achievement Center right here at Greenbelt Middle School. Uh, and we look forward to continuing uh, to partner and continuing to contribute to this program uh, so again, I just want to say thank you um, for, for being here uh, to the Higher Achievement Program, uh, to Talia Washington, thank you so much, and to the rest of the team, uh, and thank you also to Dr. Valentine, and thank you for all of, to each of you for being here today. The best truly is yet to come, uh, and this is just a wonderful start. So thank you so much. God bless all of you. Thank you so much. It's really wonderful news. Thank you. We are so excited to receive the Community Partnership Grant. Thank you. Last week, we kicked off our six-week summer academy here at Greenbelt Middle School with 66th and 7th grade scholars. They will spend Monday to Thursday here in the building with us, engaging, on a hand, engaging with a hands-on curriculum in both STEM and the humanities. And then on Fridays, they will be out of the building, out in the county, on exciting field trips that are designed to engage them in a range of career options, like science and engineering at NASA, hospitality careers at the hotel at the University of Maryland, as well as MGM, National Harbor. And then the last week of our summer program is dedicated to taking scholars on college tours. Our sixth graders will make a one-day visit to the University of Maryland, go Terps, and Bowie State University. And our seventh graders will experience overnight college tours by going out of state to Penn State University. And then we end the summer with an exciting academic field day called the Olympics of the Mind. 
So we have a lot happening in the summer to engage our young people both academically and in career exploration. Immediately following this ribbon cutting, we invite all of you to join us for a, for, for a short visit to two classrooms here in the building to see a little bit of our summer program in action. We also invite you, either because you are so excited by what you see or you don't have time to stay today, to come back and sign up for a formal one-hour tour of our program taking place on Wednesday, July 17th from 9 to 10 a.m. here at Greenbelt Middle School. And you can sign up for that tour at one of the tables, either here or out in the hallway. I want to transition now to singing the praises also of Dr. Valentine, Dr. Daria Valentine, the principal here at Greenbelt Middle School. She has been an enthusiastic partner from the first day I met her over a year ago to begin planning this launch. Dr. Valentine has embraced every opportunity to bring enrichment and exposure experiences to her students. And she's been a key reason that our, our path has been so smooth to this launch. We could not be happier to kick off our program here at Greenbelt Middle School alongside Dr. Valentine's leadership. And we plan to sign up for the Adopt-a-School program to adopt Greenbelt Middle School as our year-long partner. So before I ask Dr. Valentine to come up, I want to briefly introduce our, the director of our center here at Greenbelt Middle School, Tierra Shelton. Could you give a wave, Tierra? As our Greenbelt Center Director, Tierra manages all aspects of Higher Achievement's program here in the building. So that includes recruiting scholars, engaging with families, managing our teaching staff and curriculum, overseeing our summer youth employment high school interns, of which we have several here, and collaborating with Dr. Valentine. I'm also proud to share that Tierra is one of this year's Prince George's County 40 Under 40 Rising Stars. And we are so thrilled to have Tierra on our team. Okay, and then last but by no means least, I also want to introduce again very briefly our two fantastic scholars, Aaliyah and Anthony. Scholar voice is one of Higher Achievement's most treasured values. We believe in the talent and leadership ability of all young people, and we encourage our scholars to both value the importance of and the power of their own voices. So it is my pleasure to introduce seventh grade scholars, Aaliyah and Anthony, and invite them and Dr. Valentine all up to the podium now. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Greenbelt Middle School. One, one of the common themes that I've heard today um, is opportunity and access. And um, I am very proud that I'm able to work in a field where I get the opportunity to ensure that students have opportunity and access. Um, I can think back to elementary school with Bernice Reese. I've known her since she was in second grade. Um, where our families have known each other for years and our families have been fortunate to be able to provide us with opportunities and access. Um, on the way to work about a year or so ago, I got a phone call from um, Ms. Grady, Ms. Luby Grady, and she asked, Daria, have you heard of higher achievement? And I said, no. I said, tell me more. She said, well, you know, she gave me a two-minute spill. I said, it sounds great. Let's do it. And from then, the ball was rolling. Um, as County Executive also Brooks has shared, in my personal life, I spent a lot of time looking for opportunities and access for students in Prince George's County. Um, and when I come to work every day, we serve 1,400 students here. And it is impossible to find one program, one opportunity, one business to serve 1,400 students. So on a daily basis, my team, can I get my team right here? Those are the representatives of the I have my particular copy here, and these are just three members of our team who work tirelessly every day to ensure that our students have those opportunities. And I'd like to also recognize Dr. Janice Briscoe and Dr. Curry here today. Please stand. They have been very supportive in identifying and supporting us and providing those needs to our students. So I want to thank you all here today because you all represent, uh, for now you all represent Greenbelt Middle School's community and a community where we serve now 60 students in the Higher Achievement Program, but then there are still about 1,350 other students that we still serve and I just want to thank you all for being here to be a part of that. And now we'll have Anthony and Aaliyah. Thank you first. 
Thank you, Anthony. Good morning. My name is Aaliyah Fatu Ball, and I am a seventh grader student here at Greenbelt Middle School. Something interesting about me is the, my love for art. Art allows me to truly express my feelings. When I first heard about higher achievement, I thought this would be something for me to be more social and not so shy. Why? Because when I'm in class, the teacher calls on me, and I tend to choke. But like, I realized I have to be not so shy and have to speak my mind, because that's what Ms. Hines always told us to. She wants us to like have our own opinion for things. I started Summer Academy last week, and so far my favorite part is not only have I made new friends here, but I was able to advance my love for art and learn more in classes, such as math and science. <laughs> um, before I start, I want to thank some people. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Mike for uh, helping me practice and Ms. Tiara for also getting me into the program. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Pugh for uh, getting me into the voice for teaching me how to be you know, more mature. And I also want to thank Ms. Campbell. <clears throat> and I also want to thank my mom for always being there for me when you know times were tough and I wasn't exactly really doing my best at my ability. So <laughs> I want to thank her for that. Good morning. My name is Anthony Thompson, and I am also a seventh grade student here at Greenbelt Middle School. Something that something interesting about me is my love for reading. I've always loved to read, and this book series that I've been reading is uh, Percy Jackson. And I love the way Rick Redoyer writes because it's always been his well, the way he writes has always been like really inspiring. Um, I wanted to participate in Higher Achievement because it's given me a chance to prepare for seventh grade, and you know. School last year it wasn't exactly you know the best, so I wanted to come out in seventh grade with a bang. <laughs> my favorite thing, my favorite thing about summer academy is um, social studies with science because we're able to talk about racism and everything that's been going wrong in the world, and that she's very she's not biased about our opinions. She loves to hear us out, and she loves to you know see hear our different opinions. Something I'm looking forward to is the college trip because later in life I actually do want to go to college. And I wanted to see how everything just works and maneuvers. And, you know, later in life, I just want to be like, you know what, I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today to learn about higher achievement. Now, it is our honor to introduce the new permanent CEO of Prince George's County Public Schools, Dr. Monica Colson. Good morning. Now you know why I smile every day. I have an opportunity to work with 134,000 students like Anthony and Aaliyah. And what you didn't hear is that Anthony said to her, ladies first. So chivalry is not dead for a woman who has two boys and I stand at the door and wait for them to open it. I thank you, Anthony, for paving the way and reminding us that young men lead every day. Thank you so much. What a great way to start day two, officially, as the permanent CEO of this amazing school district. I am elated to represent 22,000 employees, and as I said before, students like Anthony and Aaliyah. Someone asked me earlier this morning, what else is going on around in the county? And I said, nothing, this is it, today, <laughs> right here. Higher Achievement at Greenbelt Middle School. I can't say thank you enough to Higher Achievement for their perseverance, because this did not happen overnight. And because of their true commitment for our kids, they persevered. And they said, we're gonna work through every issue and obstacle that keeps coming before us because they're kids who need us. I'm passionate about what we can do for children and the opportunities and exposure we'll provide in making them leaders for tomorrow. I'm excited that they're going to adopt Greenbelt Middle School because we have launched 
and adopt a school program that we know will help to bolster academic excellence. We can't do it by ourselves, but I need true partners who are willing to come and give constantly, who are willing to provide just what they are doing, higher achievement is doing. To take our students out of the district, so yes, Anthony and Aaliyah can say, oh, I've done this before, I've been here. And trust me, I went up the mountain to Penn State during spring break because my son wants to attend. That is now his second choice for college. He's also a student in Prince George's County Public Schools. And I took him on a college visit. Had I known, he'd have been on this high achievement bus <laughs> this summer instead of me going up that mountain because I said, Lord, we're going to have to pray on this child because when it's wintertime, how are you going to get there? So I say thank you to Higher Achievement for exposing our students and taking them outside of the world of Prince George's County. I shared recently my first um, college experience was at Florida a and University. I selected it through a catalog. I didn't have an opportunity to leave Temple Hills to go to the university and look at the campus, see the faculty, talk to students, and make an informed decision. I read a catalog because my mom couldn't afford for me to go. And honestly, there were days that I don't know that she could have afforded for me to be there every year. But what she said was, you did everything I asked you to do in school, and I'll figure out a way to make it happen. And that's what Higher Achievement is truly doing. They're providing our students opportunities to make their dreams a reality and to make it come to life. That's what I ask of every partner that we have that's exposure for our students. 134,000 students have dreams. And it's my job to make that dream a reality. I thank you for all that you have done. That every person in this room will touch the lives of our students and make a difference. And I am believing that we are going to put Prince George's County Public Schools back on the map for academic excellence. I am committed to it. It is what I know our students deserve. And it's what our philanthropic partners have wanted for years. We're here. We're putting us back on the map. We're going to show you how it's done in an urban suburban school district and we're going to provide academic excellence every day in 207 schools. So I thank you. Trust me, before you leave here today, please make sure you touch Aaliyah and Anthony because they're going somewhere. <laughs> and take the time to visit the classrooms. If you can't do it today, do it on the 17th. See the other amazing students that we have in this district. It is why I wake up every day. It's who I start my prayers with and it's who I end them with because they are our future. Thank you, Higher Achievement. I am looking forward to you adopting a few more schools and bringing Higher Achievement to some other middle schools across our district because we need to close the gap for our students. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much, Dr. Goldson. It is my true honor to be with you all today. I'm Lindsay Wood Jeffries. I'm the CEO of Higher Achievement. And I have been involved with this work for 19 years, starting as a volunteer mentor and now 14 years on staff. And to be here today knowing that so many scholars are in Tierra's care, Dr. Valentine's students are, are benefiting from higher achievement is wonderful. It's an honor to be in the room with all of you as leaders in Prince George's County, the vibrant, connected community on the rise. It feels warm and welcoming and just a, a wonderful place to be. We are here because of the young people in the room. Young people like Alia and Anthony and their extraordinary talent and the remarkable futures ahead of them. So I want to pause and think about their experience. I want to ask you something. Raise your hand if when you were 12 years old, in the summer, you woke up at 7 a.m. to come for six weeks, 40 hours a week to learn more. There's some alumni, higher achievement alumni in the room here. We've got some students, yes. Um, so thank you. And um, it is that level of thirst for learning, 
for knowledge that learning and fun are mutually inclusive. I'm seeing that happen with our scholars. Um, that our students in Greenbelt raise their hand and they say, yes, I want this. Our students across four regions, we are in DC, Maryland, Virginia, and Pennsylvania, and students year after year raise their hand and say, yes, that's the kind of learning I want. After school with mentors, in the summer with hands-on learning, college trips that we've been talking about, and so much more. And the research shows that that type of learning will put their trajectory to the sky for the future. And so I want, in interest of continual learning, to share three tidbits of research with you. We are higher achievement. <laughs> First, did you know that eighth grade is the best predictor of future college success? That is true according to the ACT. And did you know that middle school is second only to early childhood in neurological development? It's when your prefrontal cortex is developing, it's when students' identity are getting, are getting developed, and when they begin to make choices to figure out who they are, who they will be, and often it's when they take some risks. It's our job to make sure that it's positive risks that they're taking, although according to research from Vassar, students at age 12 pause an unreasonably long time when asked the question, is it a good idea to bite a light bulb? <laughs> So, we want to make sure they're not biting light bulbs, but they're staying on track for higher achievement and future success. And my last tidbit is summer learning. Did you know that two and a half grade levels of the achievement gap can be closed with effective quality summer learning? <laughs> That's the achievement gap between rich and poor, between white and non-white. Summer learning is imperative if we actually want to be the nation that we aspire to be. And so, at Higher Achievement, we put this research into practice each and every day, because as Talia said, we know that talent is everywhere, but too often opportunity is not. And it's my honor to be able to connect the talent of our scholars with the opportunity within the county and beyond. And so, our goal with expansion to Greenbelt this summer is scaling with quality. Scaling with outcomes to continue the proven model that demonstrates a measurable difference on grades, test scores, high school placement, and long-term success. And we don't do this alone. I think one of the most extraordinary things about this expansion has been a cross-sector effort. Um, the extraordinary elect elected officials and other government leaders, I'm looking at David Curry, who's been with us a long time trying to make this happen, um, as well as our private sector partners, extraordinary support from MGM and 2U, and also our nonprofit partners, Loopy with LAYC, Kareen Brody with Hillside, also Community Youth Advance. A number of nonprofits have also helped guide the way for higher achievements expansion. And that cross sector collaboration is um, a real pillar for success and longevity. And with that, I want to really also acknowledge an extraordinary woman who's been up here quite a bit, Ms. Talia Washington. <laughs> I'm so glad your parents are here to see this very special moment because she's a very special leader and her inde indefatigable effort and drive coupled with that of Ms. Tallulah, Ms. Fiera, Ms. Kate, Ms. Christie, Mr. Chris, so many of our staff members that made this possible, as well as our board members. We've got several of you in the room today. I'm so grateful for you. In conclusion, our expansion to Greenbelt is an expansion of the work that we do deeply in community with schools, neighborhoods, and scholars to help our scholars realize their fullest potential for success in high school and post-secondary success and beyond. And my dream is that in the future, say 20 years from now, when there's a group of people like this gathered in Prince George's County and they ask about the importance of middle school, about the importance of summer learning, 
those hands fly up and it's because it's a sea of higher achievement alumni who are proudly saying, yes, I know this matters, and yes, I'm now in a leadership role to make more of that happen for other kids. And with their hands up, they're gonna be grabbing the next rung on that ladder of their success as ever they define it, as well as reaching down to pull up the next generation to help them succeed, to lift as they climb. And so I thank you for doing that. I want to just ask you as a show of support for solidarity for that future and with our scholars to raise your hands to say, I'm committed to this and I thank you. Thank you, thank you Dr. Goldson. Partnering with the community is a key component to the success of our model. And the number one way that you can get involved right now is by becoming a mentor. Employees at businesses, university students, individuals from the community, anyone can sign up to volunteer as a mentor by committing one night a week for two hours during the school year to work directly with amazing scholars like Aaliyah and Anthony. Higher Achievement provides the training and the ongoing support, and you can choose from our curriculum of either STEM or the humanities. Here at Greenbelt Middle School, we will need 30 to 40 caring adult mentors beginning this fall to spend time and build relationships with these amazing young people. There's more information by the door, by the exit. You can sign up on the spot right now today if you're really inspired, um, and you can talk with the Higher Achievement staff member to learn more. Another big way that local companies can partner with us is to become a center sponsor of our Greenbelt Achievement Center. We are excited to have our two inaugural sponsors here with us today, both 2U and MGM National Harbor. 2U, if you don't know yet, is a global education technology company headquartered right here in Lanham with a focus on higher education. And MGM is a premier resort destination located at National Harbor. Both companies are committed to the success of young people here in the county and providing opportunities for our next generation of leaders. We are very grateful for these two partnerships and excited for the Greenbelt students and the opportunities that they will have as a result. So now I would like to invite both David Sutphin, the Chief Strategy and Engagement Officer for 2U, and Starlet Hunter, the Director of Community Engagement for MGM National Harbor, to say a few words. David said, ladies first. I have, four, I have four older sisters. I learned that at a very young age. While MGM contributes to a range of causes and charitable organizations, our support of public education is a hallmark of our corporate social responsibility philosophy. We support programs that offer mentorship, tutoring, after school activities, and career planning to increase graduation rates and ensure that children are on the path to success. At MGM, we believe that education bridges the divide between poverty and the progress in America. And for this reason, we are proud to partner with Higher Achievement, who is boldly addressing the unique challenges of middle school scholars in our communities. MGM welcomes you to Prince George's County and look forward to the impact your programs will have on our youth. Morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I, there's a lot of doctors in this room. <laughs> Literally, I need to go back to school. So, um, so uh, my name is David Suff, and I'm the Chief Strategy Officer of 2U. And I think what's uh, interesting, 2U's been uh, around for a little over a decade. And I think one of the reasons why the company has been so successful, and we're um, uh, probably the most successful education technology company in the world now. Uh, we have over 3,500 employees. We've touched a quarter of a million adult learners with our graduate degree programs, boot camps, and short courses. But I think one of the things that I'm most proud of is we are one of the most diverse technology companies in the world. Uh, our employee base, our board, people like Valerie Jarrett on our board. And I think the reason why that's an important point to make in this room is there's an assumption you know, that you've got to be in Silicon Valley or Boston or Chicago or some other place to be excellent at what you do and to be great, and that's simply not the case. And one of the reasons why we're here in Prince George's County is because of the amazing talent and it has helped transform us as a company. And so when we got approached uh, by Lindsay and the whole higher, ed team, higher achievement team about partnering, 
it made total sense to us. Our mission, uh, and our, we, we call it No Back Row, if you drive by our offices, you will see the words No Back Row on our, on our front lawn. And that's not just our, a metaphor, it's our mission. And I think Higher Achievement is an example of an organization that's if trying to eliminate the back row when it comes to the educational opportunities of young people. And I know I grew up in Milwaukee, went to an inner city public high school, and there's no way I would have achieved what I've achieved in my life had it not been for the kind of support that organizations like Higher Achievement provide. So we're thrilled to be uh, one of your community partners. And I will say that in, what, four or five days since we announced the partnership, I think we've had 75 two youths, as we call them, sign up to be potential mentors in the fall. So we may have um, So I encourage anyone who hasn't uh, come by the 2U offices. Uh, we welcome you. Uh, we, we intend to be an anchor uh, community partner and business uh, in, in this community and this region for a long time. So, uh, so we look forward to a very long and prosperous relationship. So thank you. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. So I have wonderful staff members who are going to help us. Ladies and gentlemen, you can pull out your cameras because I would like to invite everyone on stage to get in position to cut the ribbon to celebrate the launch of Higher Achievement here in the county. Hey, wait, let's do countdown. Ready? I'll count from three, two, one. Ready? Three, two, one. 